Hey everybody, it's me again, and see, right now it is, see, 9.12 a.m., Saturday, December 31st, 2011, and it is New Year's Eve, and I guess I should just wish everyone out there a Happy New Year, and see, also a Merry Christmas, a belated Merry Christmas, hopefully everyone's holidays have been pretty good, and see, I guess, oh wow, what a year, I guess, like, I'll try and keep this concise, like, hopefully it won't be as long as some of my other videos. Just wanted to, I guess, like, you know, a brief year overview, and yeah, we've had quite a year, if you really think about it, humanity as a whole, but the good news is, we have, I feel like, as a whole, we have passed through, like, you know, a big, like, you know, gateway in a sense, if you really think about it. Humanity as a whole has passed, like, a crucial turning point, and you know, at this point, I think everything should be all good. Everything should be all good, but see how we'll see how things continue to unfold, and you know how everything works out. Like, you know, there's certain things that I feel like for the future are going to be key, and you know, like I think the main things is continued phasing down of the wars, like you know, all over the war, all over the world, and then see the next main thing is like you know we need to reinvest in food land and like you know agriculture development stuff like that that's what i think that's just my perspectives on that you know and like there's a lot of good ideas like in one of my previous videos like i had that whole food art concept and i was also mentioning you know like about like the whole greening of the middle east and everything and like you know i need to give credit where it's due because basically like that idea like gaddafi was the first one who, like, you know, he actually, like, you know, he was actually doing that. He was building the infrastructure to do that within Libya. And, you know, regardless of how you feel about him or, like, you know, how things turned out, like, you know, he had some good ideas. He had some good ideas. It's just, like, you know, maybe there are some karmic things involved. Like, you know, like, some of, like, the way he handled things, like, you know, in his country, like, you know, like, the means do not justify the end. Let's just say that. That's like, you know, that's something that, like, you know, we should all remember, but at the same time, like, you know, also, what happened to him and everything, like, you know, that was totally uncalled for, if you really think about it, if you really think about it, that was uncalled for, like, things like that, that's not how, like, we should treat other human beings, regardless of what they may have done in the past, or, you know, what they were doing, and everything, that's just my perspectives on that, that's just my perspectives on that, and, well, let's see, what's going on in the world right now, well, let's see, See, the other week, Kim Jong-il, the North Korean leader, passed away, and so, you know, I get, you know, condolences and sympathies to their country, and his son, Kim Jong-un, is now the supreme leader of North Korea, and, you know, hopefully, like, you know, things, like, eventually, like, there will be, like, change, like, you know, perhaps in the future within that country, and, you know, I wish both nations the best, you know, at this point, and, you know, I've seen little things here and there from, like, I guess, media reports, like, you know, over the past year. Something tells me that, you know, it's very, very subtle, but, you know, like, the son, Kim Jong-un, he's, like, you know, there's something a little bit different about him. He should, you know, there's going to be a lot of good change in North Korea, I think. You know, he has some good perspectives. Like, I've seen that, like, he is a little bit more, like, you know, progressive in his views and ideas, and that's a good thing, in my opinion. That's a good thing, in my opinion. So, I guess we'll just watch how that all works out, and, like, you know, like, you know, just have hope for the best. Hope for the best and everything. That's just my perspective. And, see, back at home over here in, see, my country here in the U.S., see, well, Obama was able to, you know, he helped, you know, like, I guess he pressured Congress into passing the whole you know, the payroll tax cut for the working class, and that's good, that's very good, that's very good, because, you know, that's a good thing there, you know, it, like, you know, it does, like, the majority of the people are not getting hurt, that's the main thing, you know, people who actually, you know, like, actually hold up this country, you know, we're all okay, you know, like, we're not going to take a hit on that, even though, like, the truth is, I've been unemployed for, like, you know, the longest, longest time, well, somewhat unemployed, somewhat self-employed, like, you know, I've been doing research, I guess, like, you know, coming up with concepts, like, maybe I might write a book someday or something, I don't know, maybe my perspectives, like, you know, if they can help in some way, you know, that's the main thing, 
and everything. And like right now, like you know, the economy it's pretty much stable right now from what I've seen. Like it's stable, even though like you know it's not perfect. And yes, there is a lot wrong. There's a lot wrong. But the good thing is, you know, like the masses are aware. That's the main thing. Like you know, they're aware of like you know not so much. It's not so much a conspiracy as so much it was just the way things were for the longest time, if you really think about it. Like, and, you know, like, finally, like, you know, people are becoming more aware. Everyone's becoming more aware because you got to really think about it. Back in, like, you know, the past when there was wars and conflicts, you know, we didn't have things like the Internet. And, like, we didn't have, like, cell phones or, like, you know, the type of media that we have today. And even though, like, yeah, you know, they say, oh, it's all propaganda, it's all deception. In a sense, everything that we see on the Internet, like, from our TVs, from media, in the newspaper, magazines, books, it's all propaganda, in a sense. Propaganda, it means propagate, to put out there. It's essentially putting out all these perspectives. In a sense, whoever controls the perspectives, you know, essentially controls, like, essentially you could have control over all the masses if you really think about it which is why you know like I feel that you know a key integral thing is our right to freedom of speech you know like at the same time you know I understand why like you know like don't encourage hate or you know destruction or death that's the thing like you know even though I'm all for free speech don't encourage things that promote like you know death and destruction that's just my opinion that's just my opinion but, you know, like I said, I feel like things, you know, have changed in a sense. There has been a perceptional shift. And if you really, really think about it, like, you know, like I was saying, the whole thing about computers, Internet, in a sense, it is, you know, it's a, like, if you really think about it, the computer, the Internet is the tool, the instrument to wage war on war itself if you really think about it, because a lot of the problems in the past, the conflicts, have all been caused by, you know, poor communication, lack of communication, like, you know, now perhaps, like, you know, the key here is to prevent, you know, chaos, calamity, or war and destruction before, before, like, you know, it has a chance to take root, that's my opinion, that's my opinion on that, and, you know, like, if you really, really think about it, you know, like, if you think about it, like, the whole thing, like, you know, the Thrive Movement, that's something I really like, you know, in fact, I can say I love that movement, and in a sense, it shows that, you know, don't be so cynical towards everything in the world, you know, have some faith, have faith, have faith that everything's going to work out, you know, not everyone out there is, like, you know, evil or sinister, some of these conspiracies, you know, they're conspiracies of our own construction within our own minds and everything that's why always keep an open mind always keep an open heart because i'll say that my perspective has like you know it's evolved over the past year it's not the same it's not the same as it has been from the beginning of the year to where we are as a whole right now and like you know a lot of things happening in the mid east right now and everything like with syria and everything but hopefully you know there's like arab observers in the country hopefully they'll be able to you know like figure out some way to, like, you know, resolve, like, whatever grievances they have there, and, like, the whole thing with Iran right now, like, you know, just keep, like, you know, I'm saying, I say, just keep a wait and see, like, you know, approach to this, like, you know, like, it, like, now is not the time to go to war, now is not the time to go to war, not when there is so much momentum for, like, you know, like, actual, like, you know, good, positive change in this world, like, and, like, you know, it makes me think of this one thing, how they were saying in the Thrive Movement, you know, we're not as insignificant in our impact as we, you know, once thought and everything. And this is the interesting thing. Like, look, I know, yeah, you know, it's mainstream media, but, you know, Time Magazine, like, look, if you really think about it, all of us who, you know, like, you know, like, essentially, if you really think about it, dared to speak out, like, you know, put our opinions out there, you know, like, in a sense, all our different perspectives have been able to help raise awareness for everybody you know, make everybody aware of, like, you know, what may have been going on in the world, you know, may or may not have been going on, but, you know, like, you know what this to me says, we have their attention, you know, as a whole, we got their attention, they're aware, and they're listening to us, and like I said, you know, have faith, have faith, they're not all evil, you know, not everyone out there is evil, not everyone out there is evil, you know, it all comes down to choice, we all got to make the right choice, you know, and like that. I guess that's just my two cents on that, if you really think about it. But yeah, and like, you know, like, I'm not going to preach and everything like I usually do. And like I say, I'm all, I'm a spiritual person, not religious. I'm not dogmatic. 
I'm a spiritual person. I believe in, you know, like, very, like, progressive spiritual concepts and everything. But, you know, I have faith that everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Like, you know, I'm very optimistic about this upcoming year. 2012, like, basically, well, for me, 2011 was a year of revelations of sorts for at least me personally and perhaps many others out there and like 2012 like you know I have hope that we're going to see things change in leaps and bounds you know in like a very good way in a very good way I hope you know we just got to keep on doing what we're doing you know like don't fear to put your perspective out there you know no matter what it may be and everything you know like because like you know every perspective is valid just don't incite hate don't incite destruction and you know don't try and spread fear that's my opinion don't try and spread fear you know, but this is something interesting. You know the whole thing, John 3.16, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, so that whoever believeth in Him would have everlasting life, you know? And everything, and like, you know, if you really think about it from that perspective, you know, like, how would it feel, and everything? How would it really feel? And like, you know, there's, like, you know, like, she knows. She knows how it feels. She says, my son is now a symbol, a symbol of Tunis. He gave his life so we can have freedom. You know, like, the ideal here is to create a world where no one would have to, you know, go to those sort of extremes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, and, like, we have the world's attention. We have the world's attention. Like, look at all this change that's been happening. Like, you know, he's another one he knows. He knows how it how it feels. He knows how it feels. It's like there's a lot of really interesting things happening this year and like if you really think about it, let's see, in terms of like, you know, I guess earth changing events, if you really think about it like recently Samoa just changed the international date line, so they jumped ahead a day. If you really think about it, with everything that's been going on, like, with all the earthquakes and whatnot, and, like, you know, the whole thing with, like, you know, the sun rising at, like, different times and everything, like, Dutch since made a good video on it. Basically, like, for everyone who is, like, you know, calling us crazy and everything, basically, yes, a very, like, perhaps subtle pole shift has happened. Like, you know, the earth has shifted. Like, things have changed, like, physically. We're living literally in a physically, like, I guess, in terms of, like, you know, how everything, like, works. Like, you know, it's changed a little bit. Like, there has been a pole shift. There has been a pole shift. Like, in a sense, we lost the day, in a sense. But that's, and that's a kind of interesting way of looking at it. But, but, you know, if you really think about it, too, there's this other video from someone named... Like, basically one of the first videos, like, when I first had my awakening that I saw, like, Daniel of Doria, he's talking about, like, essentially, like, you know, some ancient, like, you know, technologies and stuff like that, and, like, you know, it makes you think about stuff like, you know, the harp system, and maybe, you know, it's some certain things are not as sinister as it seems, but at the same time, like, you know, because of the nature of certain things, like, you know, they can't really say, like, things about, you know, certain things and everything, because, like, maybe they still don't know the full implications and everything, and, you know, there's certain things, like, you know, I'll say in the past that I have said, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, I would be like, oh, yeah, you know, I think this is what's going on, or that's what's going on, like, you know, if you really think about it, stuff like HARP, and even, like, you know, the C, the CX band radar that they have and everything, that big white dome, like, a lot of these things, like, I, and even, like, that whole thing, like, I've seen, even they were talking about, like, oh, yeah, you know, like, that Air Force secret space plane, or even, like, you know, the International Space Station, things like that. I think a lot of that is all red herrings. A lot of that is all red herrings. You know, like, if what happened in Japan was natural, well, or if it was unnatural, or, you know, like, something was, like, you know, if it was intentional or something, you know, was not right about that, there are other perspectives on what may or may not have happened, you know, and one of them, who's that, Benjamin Fulford, like, if you really want to, like, you know, pursue that, like, you know, you could look into that and hear what he has to say about that, and like, you know, 
it's some like it makes you think but at the same time you know don't dwell on these things because the perceptional shift has happened already it's happened already and like you know and talking about like speaking about Benjamin Fulford it makes me think about something else and like you know like it it's really trippy it's really trippy how things worked out how things worked out this year and well see what one of the, what's other big news well see bin Laden's finally gone like no matter how like you may feel about that or like what you may think basically bin Laden's gone for good that boogeyman's gone and everything but like what I was saying about that whole thing with Wolford like you know I'm not saying this is true or not like you know you have to decide for yourself what you believe and everything you know it would make a good you know like spy movie plot or something perhaps but like if you really think about it I don't know it's like it's trippy stuff but like right around the time of the Fukushima disaster I think I saw on Wolford's blog it mentioned there was like an article that was on there but now it's gone it's since gone it mentioned something about like stolen like nuclear weapon or something like that and then you had like basically like a few days before like the whole bin laden thing when he was taken out and everything like there was this wikileaks cable something about khalid sheikh mohammed was saying something about oh like al-qaeda had stashed something like you know like a nuclear bomb in europe or something and you had all of that going on and then the whole thing behind like you know like the whole 9-11 anniversary and everything like there was something like you know strange going on with that and everything if you really think about it if you really think about it you know and then like you know it could always be something else it could always be something else but then on september 12th there was an incident at a french nuclear site where like a nuclear waste disposal furnace that was used to essentially recycle waste from like you know nuclear weapons and stuff like that it kind of went kaboom and it killed like a worker that was nearby and everything but the interesting thing is like you know we were having solar flares around that time too we were having solar flares at that time too so you know it could be like you know a number any number of things and everything but you know like you know it's like it's the possibility like if certain things are the way they are you know like that like that at the very least like you know I, like I said it would make a good spy movie plot if it was true and everything but like, you know, if that thing was, if that's true, that means perhaps there are good forces out there. So, you know, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't dwell on things like that. Don't dwell on things like that. And on the subject of solar flares, like this past week, we had, like, you know, some solar activity and everything. And they said there was going to be, like, you know, I guess, like, might have some effect on the northern parts of the country or, like, the countries and everything, you know, like, all, like, basically, like, in Canada, in Northern Europe, Russia, like, you can see, like, you know, the Northern Lights, more, like, I guess, like, it would be a little more intense and everything, but the interesting thing was, there was an incident involving a nuclear, a Russian nuclear sub and everything that the outer hull caught fire, and I remember in one of my videos, I think from August 29th was when I mentioned it and everything, like, you know, about the whole thing about there being some sort of correlation between the solar flares, like, you know, the electromagnetic radiation from space and, like, you know, the nuclear reactors and stuff on the ground and everything, like, you know, it's, I'm not saying it's, like, you know, it's not a doomsday scenario or anything like that where we have to worry, but it's just something that needs to be closely watched to see if there really is some sort of connection between the two, you know, that's just my opinion on that, that's just my opinion on that, but, like, even before the Fukushima earthquake, we had solar flares, too, so, you see, Maybe there is, you know, something, like, you know, that is out of our control that's been happening. But at the same time, like, you know, technologies like HARP like, and stuff like that, it's not what it seems. It's not what it seems. Maybe they are actually trying to make a difference, and, you know, actually protect us. You know, like, there's mention about, like, how the pyramids were supposed to be ancient harmonic structures to stabilize the tectonic plates of the planet during the pole shift. So maybe, like, you know, that's what's going on, and, you know, like, it's not going to be as bad as we think, you know, because, like, you know, like I said, there's good forces out there, perhaps, but, like, as always, like, you know, I could always be right, I could always be wrong, you gotta decide for yourself, you gotta decide for yourself, you know, not, certain things aren't as sinister as they seem, you know, and, like, I guess, you know, that's all I have for now, you know, like, it's been, like, you know, it's been quite a year, and, you know, but I have, you know, I'm optimistic about 2012, I'm optimistic about 2012, if anything, if it is, like, you know, an apocalypse or something, apocalypse means the unveiling. It's going to be, like, you know, the unveiling of, like, you know, the true nature of human potential. 
Like, you gotta have hope, faith, and faith that at the core of everyone's being, we're all good, you know. We all, at, like, when it really comes down to it, everyone will make the right choice. That's just my perspective. That's just my perspective on that. But yeah, and let's see, I guess, like, you know, like, it's the end of the year and everything. I guess if you've been following this, and everything, like the whole thing about the Phobus Grunt, and I think it's not something that we should really worry about. You know, I don't think we should worry about it. It's like, you know, certain things have been overblown, like there might be some propaganda behind it, but I think if you really are, like, you know, worried about it and everything, like, you know, you can always, like, you know, keep track of what's going on. Here's a video, I think, uploaded by Sheila Aliens. They're talking about, like, the... For, there's Phobus Grunt and everything, and basically, you know, it's the Mars probe and everything, like... Collect soil samples and well, I'll let them explain it. Satellite also carries a small Chinese Mars orbiter, a science experiment, and full tanks of hydrazine fuel. Engineers had hoped to start the engines and send it to Mars before the two-week window of opportunity closed. After that, planets would not be properly aligned for another 26 months. Since Phobos Grunt became stranded in its parking orbit, Russian and European space agency ground stations have only succeeded in talking to it a handful of times. When the window for the journey closed, the Russian space agency continued to try to contact the probe to boost it to a higher orbit so that atmospheric drag would not cause it to re-enter. As hopes for recovering the satellite dimmed, speculation turned to when and where the satellite would re-enter. Most of the satellite is expected to burn up on re-entry, although some pieces may fall to the Earth's surface. While most of the world's population lies beneath the plus or minus 51 degree latitude swath of Earth that is in the potential re-entry zone, any debris that re-enters would very likely land in the ocean, since water covers nearly three quarters of the Earth's surface. As with the two other yeah, recent satellite motion, orbits so in 2011, don't have to really NASA's worry UARS and Germany's ROSAT, no one will know the exact time and location of the re-entry until the final hours. The estimates will become more accurate as the event draws nearer. But, yeah, there you go. Like, honestly, like, I don't think it's something to really worry about. It's not something to really worry about. You know, it's been blown out of proportions. But if you're really, you know, concerned about it, like, you know, there are resources to track that. But, you know, honestly, I think it's not going to be as bad as we think. Or it's not as bad as we think, you know. Like, not everything is a conspiracy. That's just my perspective. Not everything is a conspiracy, but sometimes it may seem that way. It could seem that way, but at the same time, you know, use your own discernment. Always keep an open mind, open perspectives, open heart to everything. You know what I mean? But I guess that's all I got for now, and let's see, it's New Year's Eve, and let's see, wish everyone, you know, a safe and happy New Year's. Hope for the best, everyone. Hope for the best, and let's see, remember my motto, faith, hope, and love. Be love. And that's all I got for now.